Today, I'm gonna to be showing you a quick and easy way to make 3D shape animations in After Effects. If you like the video, subscribe for even more helpful techniques, and let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we'll do is learn to make our 3D shape and add a rotating animation to it. Here, I have a basic composition with a background layer, and the first thing we need to do is actually make the shape that we want to be 3D. With the method we're using, you can make any shape 3D. You can use your own custom shape, a logo for business, a PNG of a hot dog, anything will work. By the end of this tutorial, we'll be able to duplicate our 3D shapes and fill up an entire composition just like this. But for now, I'm just going to start by quickly making a square shape to use as an example for our simple 3D effect. We'll rename this shape to be square, then right click it, select pre-compose, we'll name the pre-comp to shape1, and click OK. The reason we want to pre-compose our shape is that once we make our 3D animation, we'll be able to go into this pre-comp and replace the shape with anything you want. Next, highlight the pre-comp, then go up to Effect, Simulation, Shatter. This is all we need to achieve our 3D effect, which is great because it makes things much simpler for us. For the Shatter effect, set the view to Rendered so that we can actually see our shape. Open the Shape tab, set Pattern to Custom, and set the Custom Shatter Map to our pre-comp layer, Shape 1. If you scrub through the timeline, you'll see that our shape is moving all around and we don't want that, so open Force 1 and Force 2, then set Depth, radius, and strength all to zero. This will keep our shape from moving at all. Now, if I open camera movement and rotate the shape around, you can see that we have a bit of a 3D effect going on, but it kind of looks like garbage. So to fix that, we'll open up the texture tab, set the front layer to be our shape pre-comp, set the side mode to color. This means that the front of our 3D shape is the custom shape that we made, and the side is going to be whatever we set this color to. Before we change the color though, let's open up the lighting tab, Set the light type to first comp light, bring ambient light up to 1, and now our 3D shape is properly lit. Now we can go to the color and the textures tab and change the color of the side of our shape, which I'm going to set to a very dark blue. Our shape is looking a little thin, so we'll go up to the extrusion depth setting underneath of shape and increase it a bit to add some thickness to our 3D shape. We're done now with actually making the 3D shape, so next we need to animate it. First, I'll reset the camera rotation back to zero, then hold down the Alt key on your keyboard and click the stopwatch for X rotation. In the expression control panel, type in time asterisk 20, which will make the shape constantly rotate at that speed, then Alt click the stopwatch for Y rotation, and we'll type time asterisk negative 30. If you don't want the shape to start facing towards you like this, what we can do is go back to the expression add a plus symbol at the end, and a number like 50, and now the shape will start with some rotation already. We'll add a plus 30 to the Y rotation, and now the shape starts like this. And just like that, we easily made a fully 3D animated shape using one single effect. Before we continue, we'd like to take a moment to thank our sponsor, Sunduck Film where we create professional motion graphic templates. If you're tired of spending endless hours crafting designs from scratch, we have a solution for you. Our Motion Duck extension can save you valuable time on every project. With access to thousands of templates, you can easily preview and apply designs similar to what we're creating in this tutorial. Simply customize the text and colors to match your brand, and you're good to go. Be sure to check out our Motion Duck Templates Pack and download our free pack of 100 templates for After Effects and Premiere Pro. The links are in the description below. And if you decide to make a purchase, you'll be supporting our YouTube channel, and we appreciate your support. Next, we're going to set up our shape to be duplicated and fill out our composition. First, let's actually change the shape. All you need to do is open the Shape 1 pre-comp, remove the shape that's already there, and then replace it with whatever new shape that you want. Now when you go back to the main composition, the shape will instantly update and the 3D effect is automatically applied to it. Next we'll make a controller for all of our shapes, so start by going to Layer, New, Null Object. We'll rename this layer to Control, then go up to Effect, Expression Controls, Color Control. Now highlight the pre-comp, double tap the U key to open up its properties, scroll down to Color, Alt click the stopwatch for color, then highlight the control layer and drag the pick whip from color on the pre-comp to the expression control on our control layer. What we've just done is attach this color setting to this controller in the control layer. So now when I change the color here, it changes the color of the 3D effect on our pre-comp. And if I duplicate it, the control layer will modify every copy of the pre-comp together at once. Now that we can duplicate our shape layer freely, let's start building the composition. I have a basic 3D title layer here in the center of the composition, and what we want to do is enable our shape as a 3D layer as well, like this. Next, press Ctrl D to duplicate it, press P for position, 
then we're going to move the shape to another location and change its Z position so that it's at a different depth than the first shape. I'm going to fast forward while I continue to duplicate and reposition all of the different shape layers until I have a composition full of shapes. Make sure to put shapes in front of and behind your title to emphasize the depth of your composition. Now that this is done, our next issue is that all of these shapes are rotating the same way and in the same direction. Fixing this is a bit more tedious. What you need to do is open each individual shape layer, go to their expressions for rotation, and change the number for speed of the rotation, as well as the number added at the end, so that they all start at different angles and rotate in different ways. I'm going to fast forward again while I randomize all of these rotations on all of the shape layers. Now we have this awesome composition filled with rotating 3D shapes. Lastly, we'll finish things off by adding a quick camera zoom to our composition. Start by going to Layer, New, Camera, click OK then press P for position on the camera, set a keyframe for position at the start of the timeline, move forward a bit, set another keyframe, then go back to the first keyframe and increase the Z position a lot until the camera zooms past all of the shape layers. Highlight the keyframes, press F9 to make them easy ease, open the graph editor tool, and pull the right side of the curve all the way inward like this to smooth out the animation. Now the camera will zoom out to reveal all of the shapes in our composition. And with all of these techniques fully combined, you can make an amazing composition of 3D shape layers just like this. Want to get a head start on your motion graphics? Be sure to check out our 100 free templates for After Effects and Premiere Pro. Those links will be available in the description down below. And remember, always be creating.